There are some basic things in the kitchen that everyone should know how to do. Like, there's no excuse. Like roasting a whole chicken. It's as basic as it gets. And guess what? I've never done it before. It's not entirely true. I meant from home. I've never done it from home before. Because my high school job was a chicken cook. It was a rotisserie chicken restaurant and in the back of the kitchen was three massive ovens, and in those massive ovens you'd put five spits each, and on those five spits you'd have five birds. I was in charge of this whole operation. That was a hundred years ago, and I haven't thought about it since. So we're back at square one. You gotta crawl before you can walk. It's these simple recipes that you need to understand first before you can really move on to the more challenging ones. For this recipe, all you need is one whole chicken, garlic, lemon, salt and pepper, butter, and oil. Lemon meat zester. Cut the lemon in half and juice this into the bowl. Obviously, remove all the seeds that fell into the bowl because you didn't buy a juicer. I'm gonna mince four cloves of garlic. And whenever I wanna make sure everything is nicely minced, I just go to town. Yeah, like this. Let's add our minced garlic to the bowl. Add some olive oil, softened butter, and some salt, freshly ground pepper. I'm gonna stir this well. It should end up being very thick. Retrieve your chicken. And what I have to do is lift up the skin of the breasts, which is right now connected to the meat. I lift it up gently. Take my butter mixture, yeah. put it underneath. And now I'm gonna cover the entire bird with the remaining butter mixture. Making sure I get under each little crevice. I want this guy to soak in his butter mixture. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Three, zero. Inside the cavity of this chicken, gonna add a shallot and the rest of that lemon. Get some string, and you need to trust this bad boy. Trying to wrap it around the behind of this bird and these two legs here. We're just gonna do something like that. That looks nice. You can see the legs are tied up nicely with that string around the back as well. Transfer to my baking pan. I had my oven preheated to 220 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna lower that to 190. Let's throw this into the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. Good luck. Before you get too excited, you need to check the temperature. Put your thermometer into the inner thigh, and it needs to exceed 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Nearly 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It passed the test with flying colors. I know they can't fly, that's dead chicken here, and I'm making chicken jokes. If there's anything I know, it's how to cut whole chickens into quarters. I did it four years in high school and it's something that's ingrained into my memory and I, I won't soon forget. Firstly, you wanna cut the string, take out the lemon, onion, is there anything else in there? Take the knife and cut through the white meat, right through the breast. And then cut through the spine here. I always used to give it a little oomph. Cut in between the white meat and the dark meat. I take out all this gunk here, this gunk, and this gunk. I cut in between here. Take out this whole spine. That's how you cut chicken into quarters. It's like the one thing I know. That's cooked perfectly. I implore all of you guys to learn the basics in the kitchen. And if you already know them, Good job. I didn't. I'm gonna start with the roast chicken. Inexpensive, easy to make, delicious to eat. Start there, 
see where it takes us. I don't know what else to say. That was a, it's the basics. Time for dinner. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Very much appreciate that. I know it's Kitchen 101, but I gotta learn it. If you do like the video, make sure you're subscribed. That way you can stay tuned for everything that goes on over here. You can like the video, you can comment down below and say whatever you want. Okay, see you soon. Bye.